Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the glare in my glasses. I know that's super annoying. Before I even get started with this video, I just want to say with everything going on in the world right now, I just want to say stay safe, stay indoors, wash your hands, do whatever you have to do to take care of yourself. Um, just do your best to stay healthy. I mean, that's all that I can really say on that whole situation. On a brighter note, this video is going to be some dollar store revamps, I guess you can call it, and some thrift store flips. So definitely some things that you can do while you're being quarantined. Dig through your stash, see what you already have laying around, and make some DIYs. That's what I did. So if you're interested in seeing these flips, then just keep watching. So I'm starting off with this wooden bow that I think I got from Goodwill. Um, I did show it in a haul. And I'm going to start by painting it with this Ballet Slipper Pink Chalk Paint that I got from Walmart. And I'm just going to town. I did end up using a sponge brush instead of a paintbrush to paint this because um, I just like the texture that it gives when you paint with a sponge brush. I think it's um, smoother and there's less streaks and stuff um, than if you were to use a paintbrush. Now I'm going in with this blue cotton from Apple Barrel to do the uh, bow part of the bow, if that makes sense. You'll see when it's finished what I mean. So I lied, I did the back part of the bow with the blue cotton and then I did the top part of the bow as well as the ribbon part of the bow pink. And here I'm just taking a q-tip and fixing um, spots where I messed up and this is what it looked like when I was all done. Now I'm taking this picture frame that I got for her and I'm popping out the board and the glass that comes in it. And I'm using the same Ballet Slipper Pink Chalk Paint from Waverly. This is also going to be a piece for Acacia's room as well as the bow and a couple of other things. This I got at a thrift store. The color was hideous, a dark green color. And I'm taking the same Ballet Slipper Pink chalk paint from Waverly that I got at Walmart and just completely covering it. She has like a whole like heart, love, um, pink theme going on in her room with like a touch of cheetah print here and there and um, I don't know, it's really cute. She's got a really cute style. She's got a lot of um, vintage pieces and things like that in her room too. And so that's what the heart frame looked like when I was done. I am taking this um, pearl string that I found at a thrift store and I'm making a little bow out of it. And I'm going to hot glue that. Kai pops in to say hello. <laughs> I'm going to hot glue that to the top of the heart frame. 
and then just kind of glue the strings how I want them to fall. And that's what it looked like when it was all done. Now I'm just replacing the glass and the cardboard that came in it. And I do put pictures in it later. You'll see that um, at the end of the video. But I thought that turned out so cute. And then this thing, I'm not really doing anything else with it. I just forgot about the little hole that was in it. So I took this um, spackle that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just filling the hole in. And then once it dries, I just go back over it with the ballet slipper pink. This is a piece that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Um, I just didn't like the color, so I'm taking this antique white from Apple Barrel. Um, these little paints are like 58 cents at Walmart, and I'm just covering that all up. The tricky thing with this was um, with the sponge brush, whenever I would try to paint in between the letters, because um, it was like a weird material. It's not real wood, and it kind of had little little splinters that would stick out and so it was kind of tearing my sponge brush apart but um, I ended up figuring it out and getting it done but that was really the only thing that was tricky for this I did have to do two coats on this and I also had to do two coats on that um, the green heart shelf thing This is what I was talking about where um, my, my brush kept on getting snagged on those little sp splinter things, I guess. I don't really know what to call them, but um, yeah, it kind of tore my brush apart, but it all worked out in the end. And then I'm taking this Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I'm just going to very lightly um, dry brush that on just to give it a worn, uh, more weathered look. I did it a little bit more rougher um, around the edges and then the further towards the middle that I went, like right here, um, I did it very, very, very light. And now I'm just taking um, the antique white and going over where I thought I put too much black. And this is what it looked like when it was all done. I really like this. This is probably one of my favorite pieces. This is a flower bucket, a hanging flower bucket that I got from Dollar Tree. I didn't like the dark green color at all, so I'm taking the antique white um, from Apple Barrel and painting that. This took maybe three coats to do. Um, I did do um, lighter coats on the second and third coats because I kind of liked the dark green peeking through a little bit. I think it gave it a more... Um, rustic weathered look so I did um, go very light-handed on the second and third coats I really just went over where I thought it was too dark for the second and third coats and then I did go down on the inside just a little bit but I didn't go all the way down on the inside because I was putting some flowers inside so nobody would see it anyways
This flower basket also had like a really um, weird texture, like a kind of a grainy texture to it that looked really cool once I painted it. So I, I liked the way that that turned out. Now I'm just taking my floral foam and arranging it inside the way that I wanted it. This is after the paint dried, of course. And all of the flowers that I got, I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I just kind of tried to stick with a certain um, color pattern. I did use two different kinds of purple florals. I have no idea what the names of them were. Um, and then these white ones. And then I kind of um, did a pattern with the purple ones. I did the white ones all the way around. And then I did... Um, one kind of purple and then the other kind of purple and then the other kind of purple and then the other kind of purple in a pattern and then um i'm just pushing all the leaves and the flowers up closer to the top and yes i know i got some super rusty wire cutters don't come for me i know i need to get some new ones and it broke my heart the head popped off So the way that I arranged these were, um, I did, I did cut them shorter for the outside of the flower bucket. And then each time I would go, would do another row, I would go up a little bit higher. That way it kind of looked like a big, um, half circle of flowers. You'll see what I'm talking about when I'm all done. But I really, really loved the way that this turned out too. And everybody that comes over thinks that it's real. I have it hanging outside on my, um on my deck and everybody that comes by thinks that it's real flowers and asks me where I get them. So I really, really love the way that this came out. And I did end up making two of these. I just didn't film um, me doing the second one, but I did make two, one for each side of my deck. And that's the way that it looks when it's all done. I really think it's so pretty. This is just a vase that I already had um, on hand. Um, I think I got it from a thrift store. And then I'm just going to paint it with this, the same blue cotton that I used on the bow for Acacia's room. This is going to sit on the little shelf that was originally green. So this is also going to go in her room. I'm just going to put a little flower in it. The glass on this face was like really smooth and slippery, so I did end up having to go in with two coats on this too. I also went down a little bit on the inside of this um, just so that it would all blend well, but obviously no one's really going to be looking at the inside of it, so I wasn't too concerned about it. So this is probably my favorite project that I did. These are some paintings that my mom had gotten for me a while ago, and I just didn't like the the colors. They didn't fit with my style that well, and the frames came with um, words like love, peace. Um, you'll see at the end of the video because um, I show you what they looked like. And I, did, I actually lost a, a lot of the footage to this, but you pretty much get the gist. I'm just... Um, painting over it with the colors that I like and as I was saying about the frames they came with words on them and then like a Chinese word and I kept the um, English word and then I just took some 100% acetone nail polish remover and took off the Chinese letters and then I also painted 
the frame that came with the pictures and then I just put it all back together but like I said I lost all of that footage somehow so you won't be seeing all of that but you get the gist I pretty much just trace over it um and the colors that I want and I just love 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 how these came out this is my favorite project that I did and I thought my mom was going to be mad at me because she had gotten them for me as a three-piece set and she would got them for me for a housewarming gift a while ago. And so I actually didn't show her right away, but um, I did end up showing her um, a few days ago and she actually really loved it and she agreed that it fit my my aesthetic a whole lot more than than the original one. So these are all the pieces that I did for Acacia's room all together. I think they look super cute. The XOXO is something that she already had. And then you see the little touch of cheetah print that I was talking about. She's got that throughout her whole room. But I really just think these look so cute all together like this up on her wall. And these are the paintings. Um, you can see what they looked like before. And then the one that I did, I really just love how it turned out. And they look so good all together. I also painted the frame. And you can see how I left the word. I liked how the word looked there. Um, and so I just did the same thing with all the rest of them. And I love it. I love the colors that I used. And I just love how they turned out. I think they're really, really cute. And then this is the flower basket hanging up on my deck. It was really windy outside, so I'm sorry for it rocking back and forth, but that's what it looks like. And then this is the key holder that I made. So those were the things that I revamped and made to um, better fit my style, or in this case, my daughter's style. And if you guys liked it, then give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like that, then give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below. I would definitely like to make some more, seeing as how I won't be able to do any shopping. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of DIYs, so you can look forward to that. I did make this um, chalkboard wall for Acacia, so, and I did film it, so it's probably going to be super short once I edit it but I will um, put that up so you can look forward to that next so yeah so that's that and make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already and give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this and I will see you guys in my next video bye